time, I think, is one of the hardest things to deal with out here. I think too much time, too much time and knowing how many days we've got left is a long, long time. Mm. Knowing that you can't be at home seeing your friends, you can't, you know, Neither. yeah, but you know, just time out here because, like, you know, some conversations like you will definitely or really start, really starting to run out. Mm. No, that, that, that's not an issue. That's not even a thing at the moment. But, like, it's just the time of being out here. Now you've got so much time away from people at home. That's the biggest killer. See, I don't mind that. Just put it, Jason, move from us. Up, uh, you're kind of behind a leaf. Tell that, t tell that leaf down. Um, Fixed. Fixed. You don't mind it being away from people? Yeah. Which is what you know, I, like, I like this. You know, it's just trying to fill your day. That's that's the bit I don't like. Yeah. You don't have any sort of day sort of thing like what can we do? It's because like we're preparing for a big trek tomorrow, so yeah. it's a bit of a slow day. But I know what you mean. I just. But even then, the trek is like. Yeah. We don't know what the what the outcome of the trek is. Yeah. Because as much as I want to be out here, I also want to be at home, relaxing, just chilled out, you know? Want to have, like, have a good night's sleep for the first time, all that kind of stuff. But uh, it's hard to know how you're going to kind of adapt from being out here to going back home. Because out here, you're sleeping in the mud, you're getting wet, you're drinking most likely dirty steam water, which could easily make you sick, drinking berries. We, we are unsure about the origin and how good they are. And we're out in the sun, but it's just us two, naked. And it's just like, how do you kind of adapt back to like the kind of more clinical England where everything's taken care of, all foods, all foods and wrappers, all waters purified from the highest mountains of the Scottish Highlands. And how you adapt back to that kind of life where you jumping on the tube to get to work, uh, just doing like a nine to six. Yeah. You know, it's just hunter gatherer kind of, you know, we've got a few more yeah. before in the earth to do, yeah? Yeah. You know, all, all them little things, it's like having the tube, one thing, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Like, it was, and now it's sort of like all, this, all this stuff, you know, food is ready prepared for that. It's just yeah. stuff that we take for granted. Yeah, I mean, exactly. That's the thing I was going to say, man. Just not taking it for granted, maybe, but it's hard to adapt. It's hard to adapt. When I've been inside, does it? It's hard to adapt to come back here, to to come back, go back to England, because you kind of want more. You want more out of your life. But you kind of do something like this, and you don't want to be in the same. Monotonous. Yeah, monotonous day to day life. What's like your plans? What's your plans after? Yeah. How much time are you going to spend naked in the jungle? None. None? Yeah. Wearing clothes? All, all, whether I go to the jungle... Yeah. Sure. Wearing clothes, a bit of a bourgeois we'll, idea. We'll come to Malaysia then, I think. Yeah. And see it as a tourist. Go back to Hotel Central, Kuantan. Yeah. Yes. Big up. Nice. Um, you know, I'd like to see a little bit more of Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Um, yeah, we haven't seen any of it, to be honest. We went at the airport and then took a taxi. And then, yeah, that that would be pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, and then apart from that, you know, want to see a bit more of other parts of Asia. See Leighton. Yeah, see Leighton, see Michael. Yeah. Um, so this is the world. Just find out what I really want to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to be out because the time you get, you get to think about different stuff and like how you want to proceed with your life and see what really interests you to your core. Yeah. Which you won't get. Which yeah, which isn't sales. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure what I want to do, to be honest. Yeah. Like, the job, my job's fine, but at a certain point, it's just, you know, you want more. Yeah. 
you want more than just being another kind of person, kind of a uh, working in an office essentially. Like more, yeah. More than just the same life that everybody else has, you know. Well, that's sort of like with the life's been pre-written, which is you know you you're born, you go to school, you get go to uni, um, you then get a job, you get a mortgage, you get kids. You mm. know, it's like everyone's life is on the same. Yeah. The same it's like too much of the same stuff, but everybody's doing the same thing. Just do something unique, Everyone something has different. Like different, unique, takes a life. You know? mm. and I question the choices that you've made. Yeah. You know, I wake up every day, like where, like, it's different out here. Like you wake up every day, you don't know what the day is going to throw. Yeah. And I like that. I really do like that. And you get that freedom as well, free to do whatever we want. No time. Time doesn't matter to us. The only time that matters to us, like it doesn't matter what it goes by the clock. It matters by the uh, weather. Mm. You know, sun or night or like rain. That's what time is to us now. Mm. Uh, I don't know what, what I want to do when I get back. I don't know. Probably end up just chasing a girl so that <laughs> something more into something interesting. But I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Mm. I think there's more to life than what whatever city you're in, though, don't it? Exactly. Because you wouldn't be able to imagine that you would be out in a jungle. Yeah. Would you? You'd never have predicted that. You would that. That's not in anyone's life plan, in says so. Like you would not have predicted you'd be out here naked. But you are, and that shows how predictable it can be if you put that effort in. If you kind of put good in energy out in the world, then good stuff will hopefully come back to you. If you don't put out good energy, well, you can't really expect anything good to happen. Yeah. Mm. Uh, don't think about cooling down. I'm actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to cool down, but one of the hardest things to deal with out here. I think too much time isn't too it? much time and knowing how many days you've got left is a long long time mm. knowing that you can't be at home seeing your friends you can't I'm you know, here though yeah but you know just time out here because like you know in conversation like we will definitely or oh, we already start we're already starting to run out of yeah. things to chat about <laughs> No, that, that, that's not an issue. Anymore. That's not yeah. even a thing at the moment. But like, it's just the time of being out here. Now you've got so much time away from people at home. That's the biggest killer. See, I don't mind that. Oh, James, move from us. Uh, uh, you're kind of behind a leaf. Tell it to tell that leaf down. See, I don't. Fixed. Fixed. Got builder in it. You don't mind it being away from people? No, no. You know. I love I love seeing different parts of the world, so you know. Yeah. And this is this is what you know. I like I like this. You know, it's just trying to fill your day. That's that's the bit I don't like. Yeah. You don't have any. Uh, today has sort of been like, what do we do? Feels like we're preparing for a big trek tomorrow, so. Yeah. It's a bit of a slow day, but I know what you mean. I just. But even then, the trek is like. Yeah. We don't know what the. What the outcome of the trek is, yeah. I suppose. As so. much as I want to be out here, I also want to be at home, relaxing, just <laughs> chilled out, you know? Want to have, like, have a good night's sleep for the first time, all mm. that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it's hard to know how you're going to kind of adapt from being out here to going back home. Because out here, you're sleeping in the mud, you're getting wet, you're drinking most likely dirty steam water. Yeah. It's good easy to make a sick, drinking berries. We are unsure about their origin and how good they are. Yeah. And we're out in the sun, by us, just us two, naked, and it's just like, how do you kind of adapt back to like the kind of more clinical England where everything's taken care of, all foods, all foods and wrappers, all waters purified from the highest mountains of the yeah. Scottish Highlands, and how you adapt back to that kind of life where you jumping in the tube to get to work. Mm -hmm. Uh, just doing like a nine to six. I think that just, that will all be pleasures, though, won't it? Like, you know, these are all kind of things that 
this this is going back really back to basics. Yeah. You know, sort of hunter gatherer kind of. You know what, what humans yeah. were put on the earth to do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, all all them little things. It like having the tube at one stage was a pleasure. You yeah. know, like it was, and now it's sort of all these all these stuff. You know, food already prepared for you. It's it's yeah. all stuff that we take for granted. Yeah, human. exactly. That's the thing I was gonna say, man. Just not taking it for granted, maybe, but it's hard to adapt. It's hard to adapt. When I've been inside, is it? It's hard to adapt to come back here, or to come back, go back to England. Yeah. But you kind of want more. You want more out of your life. Yeah. Just kind of do something like this, and you don't want to be in the same monotonous day-to-day yeah, life. Yeah. Day-to-day life. Yeah. I see you. I feel you. What's like your plans? What's your plans after? Well, I'm gonna come back and go travelling around Asia. Yeah, sort of about two months after this. Yeah. How much time are you gonna spend naked in the jungle? None. None. Yeah. Wearing clothes. Or, or whether I go to the jungle. Yeah. I'm not sure yet. Wearing clothes, a bit of a bourgeois I will, idea. I will, I will come to Malaysia though, I think. Yeah. And see it as a tourist. Go back to Hotel Central. Hotel Central. Yes. Big up. Nice. <laughs> um. You know, I'd like to see a little bit more Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Um, yeah, we haven't seen any of it, to be honest. Yeah. We've been at the airport and then took a taxi. And then, yeah, that that would be quite cool. Oh. Um, but, yeah, apart from that, I think I want to see a bit more of other parts of Asia. See Leighton? Yeah, see Leighton, see Marcus. Yeah. yeah. Um go see the world and find out what I really want to do yeah. with my life yeah it's good to be out because the time you get you get to think about different stuff and like how you want to proceed with your life and see mm. what really interests you to your core yeah which you won't get which is not sales yeah which isn't sales <laughs> yeah I'm not really sure what I want to do to be honest yeah my job, my job's fine but at a certain point it's just you know you want more yeah you want more than just being another kind of person, kind of a uh, working in an office essentially. Like yeah. More, yeah. More than just the same life that everybody else has, you know. Because that's sort of like as if your life's been pre-written, which is, you know, you you're born, you go to school, you get go to uni, um, you then get a job, you get a mortgage, you get kids. You know, it's like everyone's life is on the same yeah. same cycle it's, it's not too much of the same stuff but everybody's doing the same thing just do something unique and everyone that gets to like 50 is just hates their life and you yeah. know you know questions the choices that they've made yeah you know you know I want to wake up every day like where like it's different out here like you wake up every day you don't know what the day is going to throw yeah. at you and I like that I really do like that and you get that freedom as well free yeah. to do whatever we want yeah no time time doesn't matter to us the only time that matters to us like it doesn't matter what it goes by the clock it matters by the uh, weather yeah you know sun or night or like rain that's what time is to us now mm. uh, I don't know what, what I want to do when I get back I don't know probably end up just chasing good girl so that <laughs> player something more into, something interesting but I don't know yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Mm. Proves there's more to life than what wherever city you're in, though, doesn't it? Okay. Because you wouldn't be able to imagine that you would be out in a jungle. Hmm. Would you? You'd never have predicted that. You would that. That's not in anyone's life plan, essentially. No. Like, you would not have predicted you'd be out here naked. No. But you are, and that shows how predictable it can be if you put that effort in. If you kind of put good in- energy out in the world, then good stuff will hopefully come back to you. Yeah, if you man. don't put out good energy, well, you can't expect anything good to happen. Very philosophical, that, Dan. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think about cooling down. I'm actually pretty cool, to be I'm, fair. I want to cool down, but... Sitting on this rock. Drop my kit and get into there to cool down or body temperature you might be able to see on a thermal imaging camera is quite hot I'm going to take it off so 
see what happens. Oh, there you go. I'm going to take this hand out of the water because it is going to get infected. Put my body down as possible. Oh. You can hopefully already see my body temperature dropping on that thermal image, but this will help. And I've dropped my core temperature for a bit. It is quite hot and humid inside this jungle. It's nice, it's nice. hand out the water because it is going to get infected. Put body down as possible. You'd hope you already see my body temperature dropping on that thermal image, but this will help. And I've dropped my core temperature for a bit as it is quite hot and humid inside this jungle. Nice, that's nice. You can stop that. There we go. There we go, it's recording. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to drop my kit and get into there to cool down. Or body temperature you might be able to see on a thermal imaging camera is quite hot. I'm going to take it off. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take this hand out of the water because it is gonna get infected. I'm gonna put it down as possible. Oh, you can hopefully already see my body temperature dropping on that thermal image, but this will help. And I've dropped my core temperature for a bit. It is quite hot and humid inside this jungle. It's nice, it's nice. So um, I'm having a little bit of trouble today um, with the heel of my foot, um, all that pounding on the stone didn't help and then yesterday I s stood on a real sharp, sharp rock um, which just sent sort of a shudder right the way through my ankle and up my leg which means every time I put pressure, I don't know if you can see but you might most probably if you can't, every time I put pressure Hopefully it'll get better because yeah. we, we, we have a day of trekking tomorrow. A day, we have pretty much a, a day, a long time of trekking, and it's very difficult. And with no shoes, I'm very yeah. much not looking forward to that. The camera's not facing anyone. Mm. You can hold it down, but uh, yeah. just like make sure it lens faces somewhere. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Duncan, you better manage tomorrow because we've got a long, long yeah. task ahead. I'm hoping with a bit of rest after we've done this, that I'll be all right. Um, yeah. But we'll have to see in the morning. Yeah. Anyway. We are hydrated, that's good. Yeah. But even so, I'm finding it hard when I stand up. 
my mind almost blacks out and I'm stand up and I have to hold a tree just to like stay sane. It's like Hello, the camera. Very difficult, man. Be Very careful. difficult. How's the camera looking? Yeah, so yeah, it's just like a you're in this jungle, but it's almost like you're not here at the same time. In a sense that it's hard to kind of explain. But uh yeah, you kind of I'm standing here right now. But my mind is not working at its full amount, so my senses aren't really working completely, and I'm, com I'm not really completely aware of what's here, to be honest. And uh, yeah, it feels a bit, maybe it's because it feels so surreal uh, compared to being in England, I guess. But it's definitely a, it's an odd feeling, and it doesn't feel like I'm here. It feels like we're in a TV show at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't feel like normal ish too much, but oh well. You only live once, you get one chance. Uh, yeah. So, we, what we have to do now is fix problems with our shelter. Uh, it's just to make up for the fact that yesterday we need, or well, twice, it was too small. So, yesterday, um, we done being out, out of action with one hand. I took it upon myself to sort of try and crack on with our shelter while Dan tried to uh, do the fire. Um, this was as good as I could get it at the time. Um, it was very cramped. Um, and we learned last night that it wasn't as watertight as we wanted, was it, Dan? Yeah, we got off lucky because it wasn't a heavy rain. It was definitely not a heavy rain last night. Uh, so that kind of played in our favour. But we will need to uh, add more leaves to it because the problem with these leaves is that they're not big leaves. In this kind of uh, area around here, you don't often see big leaves that will keep it kind of uh, watertight. With these small leaves, it took us from one leaf onto another and then onto us uh, eventually. Yeah. Uh, but we'll have to kind of do that. But uh, we did have the issue of it being too tight. Yeah. We were kind of squirming around in there, and, but it was too late to kind of fix anything last night. But uh, the advantage there is that it was a bit warmer than normal, but at the same time it was extremely uncomfortable to uh, sleep in, and it was very, it's got like we'd kind of nudge into each other, like I'd wake up from a dream, and I'd jolt into James. James goes, "Oh, you kind of jolted into me." I was like, "What?" Because you know I've just woken up from just a slight dream, but uh, yeah, the dreams are there to look forward to every night though. <laughs> That's literally the only escape out of it, your dreams, yeah. and then you realise you kind of get hints in your dreams that something's not right. Uh, it could be dry in the mouth, it could be something like that, you could feel wet, or you could even be camping in your dream, and you realise that you actually are in the jungle and you wake up uh, from a kind of false reality. Uh, but, you know, it's what we deal with. But yeah, look, I love the dreams, I love the dreams, but sleeping's hard. You don't get steady sleep. You wake up, you go to sleep, you wake up, you go to sleep. It's very quick and it's not a good night's sleep, but what can you do? Start going to sleep so early. Cause yeah. We almost start going to sleep as soon as the sun goes down which is about seven o'clock and it doesn't yeah come up until about seven yeah um so that's 12 hours almost that we're trying to fill with sleep um, exactly that you're never going to get perfect sleep when you're trying to f in, in it for 12 hours because you know once it starts raining you got to be in your shelter and once you're in your shelter you can't really do anything yeah. other than rest and fall to sleep but yeah. you know something we deal with uh but yeah we should get on in a fixing it ready for a kind of hiking tomorrow. But uh, as you can see, so if you want to come here, you can see each other's bug bites. We were absolutely marauded by ants uh, yesterday, or uh, well, last night. Uh, all over our whole body is absolutely kind of destroyed. I'm going to show you some here. You can get into the light there. One of the main parts is the back. The back has been absolutely destroyed if somebody's also got a sunburn on the back of his neck oh yeah someone just fell down there okay you can see mine as well there's 
absolutely bitten up. Just kind of bite, but uh, that's something which we have to deal with as we are sleeping on the floor. Obviously, a solution to that would be to make a raised shelter, but there's a few issues with that. First off, is the temperature. Uh, we haven't been able to start a fire yet, which means if we had a raised shelter, we're going to lose more heat because of the uh, drafts coming from underneath. Uh, and we don't have a fire, so that's going to be an issue. And being cold at night is terrible. And also the fact that we are moving from this uh, site tomorrow. So kind of putting all that energy into making the raised shelter, which could take a whole day or maybe even two days uh, dependent, that would you know would be too much for us to do. And if we are, if this is only a temperature shelter, then we have to kind of you know mend and make do and see what you know see what happens. But uh, yeah, it's probably it's not really feasible to do a raised shelter right now. We don't have. Uh, time the energy to do it we have to kind of accept the uh, bites unfortunately also the resources around us are, aren't good enough either we don't have enough vine um, these are the kind of uh, trees that we're using yeah. which actually tend to snap very easily yeah once you've cut them once um, and and the leaf situation where the leaves aren't big enough yeah like we can bet look at look at the amount of leaves we have here and that doesn't keep us dry. Uh, doing that with uh, like a very shelter, it's going to be an even bigger issue. But yeah, we should probably crack on and start uh, making our shelter more waterproof.
going to focus it mostly on her head and backs. Feet never, legs never feel anything. Anything else? Is that it? Yeah. Is there any more leaves? I mean, yeah. no. should I eat? This camera's ability to film in low light is so good. It's looking very soft. So here's what a uh, new humble abode looks like. A lot, a lot softer, a lot drier it looks. And we'll, we'll see uh, how it feels tonight. It's still gonna get bitten by bugs and ants and mosquitoes, but it's better than it was. It's an improvement. the door a bit more and that's it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Probably some more for now I think. Could be an issue when we first get out. I guess we'd have to deal with it. It means to stay a bit warmer. Uh, I guess yeah. What to do? Okay, so it's, we are probably probably about uh, about a week into Malaysia, pretty much. We left on Friday. We left England on Friday from Heathrow, and uh, yeah, so it's kind of I think I believe it's Friday today. So almost hitting up a week. Uh, so that means about two weeks left of being in Malaysia. Also, uh, it's going good. Uh, we made a shuttle last night, which uh, didn't work perfectly, but we kind of today just improved it today. It's still a bit cramped in there, but it's going to stay warm. We've kind of blocked up half of the door as well. And we've kind of added a lot more leaves to help waterproof it. But, uh, yeah. But it'd be nice as well if it's quite a short rainstorm as well uh, tonight. That'd be great. Uh, but, yeah, just nothing to leave now but to kind of sleep and see what happens. And uh, kind of ride out the bug bites, which will always happen regardless. But, yeah, feeling good about tonight. Hope I have some good dreams. So, um... After Dan eating some of the berries, um, we've both decided that um, there was no real effect, but we won't really tell until later. But 
this being our only food source, we've decided that we both will go ahead and eat the berries. So, yeah. Tuck in, as they say. Food reminds you of home, doesn't it? As you have something to chew on. Yeah. Zoom out a bit. Zoom out. Poison me, or it's just gonna sustain me. I guess so. Mate, in a second, can you grab a bunch for me that around there? Yeah. Can you not get up and get it? I just don't want to slip. So it'd just be easier for you can to you just put a bunch. Pun? I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Can I basically run? Yeah. Guess what? There you go, mate. Ch oh, that's Cheers, it. man. That's it. Some bears up there. What yesterday? Yeah. Stupidly, I can't remember where they are exactly. That one's not ripe. Sometimes, un sometimes unripe food can make you sick. By the way. That's why I threw it away. Nice. Don't taste great, do they? No, mate. With survival, it isn't really meant to taste great anyway, so. Tastes good, it ain't survival. Risk. So there we go, just gonna smash all these at once, might as well. It's actually nice when you have them all at once, you get like a certain amount of juice in them. Really seedy. Oh yeah, very seedy. You get left uh, after them all, you get just a bunch of just broken up seeds inside your mouth. It's like eating a deflated grape. Now it's time to wash it down with a nice old brew of water. There you go, mate. You always need to wash down the seeds. They're just like left in your mouth. You drink this now. Recording? Um, yeah. I'm happy to uh, 
to drink some more, uh, eat some more of those berries, mate, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah, what about you? Um, yeah. It could be too early to tell. It's probably yeah. too I might, I might leave it a little bit. Mm. See what happens. And then if they're all right. They taste fine to us. What do they taste like? A bit sweet, slightly sweet. Nothing too sweet, but it's slightly sweet. Well, you want to start eating them? I don't even see it until it's sinking my stomach. Okay. Mm. Sure, cool. Um, we won't know until later, really, will we? Yeah, but also, I kind of need something in the stomach. Before they're all gone. What are you going to eat them all? Mm -hmm. You need to eat, you, uh, they're all here. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Don't taste of anything really, do they? They haven't got like a strong taste, but like anything that's grown in the wild without any help is always never going to taste amazing. It's not like all food nowadays. Mm. There's just so much evolution gone to it through, you know, selective breeding. I say you get really tasty bananas, they never always used to be tasty. True fact. Yeah. Remember, it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger, man. Yeah. yeah. And in our case, if this doesn't kill us, it will make us stronger. Yeah. It's so strong to tackle tomorrow, man. Oh, yeah, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of trekking to do tomorrow. So we're really gonna have to kind of going hard I guess, going very hard. To be closest to our biggest, this is to be, be, be our biggest meal. All I've had is a lizard, a few ants, a worm, and then this. Yep. Moldy. That one's open. That's that one's open as well.
Bon appétit. So, um, after Dan eating some of the berries, um, we both decided that um, there's no real effect, but we won't really tell until later. But this being our only food source, we've decided that we both will go ahead and eat the berries. So, yeah. Tuck in, as I say. Food reminds you of home, doesn't it? Like you have something to chew on. Yeah. Zoom out a bit. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's going to poison me, or it's just going to sustain me. I guess so. Can you make it up and get it? Don't want to slip. Can you put a bond on there? Huh? So I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it. You can have these if you want. Yeah. Get some more. There you go, mate. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Cool. I saw some bears up there what, yesterday. Yeah. Stupidly, I can't remember where they are exactly. Sometimes, un sometimes unripe food can make you sick. By the way. That's why I threw it away. Nice. They don't taste great, do they? No. With survival, it's really meant to taste great anyway, so. It tastes good, it ain't survival. Any additional risk? There we go. Just gonna smash all these at once. Might as well. They're actually nice when you have them all at once. You get like a certain amount of juice in them. Really seedy. Oh yeah, very seedy. You get left after them all. You get just a bunch of just broken up seeds inside your mouth. Like eating a deflated grape. Nah. Absolutely lovely. Can't we get a good shot of that? Get it on my GoPro. You got the water, mate. to wash it down with a nice old blue of the water. There you go mate. Yeah. It wasn't it washed down the seeds and it uh, just like left in your mouth. Don't any more poison berries?
Do you want any more? No. Can we get you some more, mate? No, no. Sure? You're not liking the taste, or? I'm not trying to be fair. Oh, I'm not trying to be fair. No. <coughs> This is like that movie, Inside Out. I certainly sing, sing into praise to have at least some work to do. <laughs> Finally, they've got, a, they've got a job. Yeah, man. Whether it's good or bad, whether it makes you sick, or whether it doesn't, uh, you know. Shit happens, man. Yeah, and this, I'm to we won't shit ourselves, we will end up uh, vomiting. vomiting. I thought I would die. Yeah. yeah. I feel lightheaded every time I get up now. Every time I stand up. What is? Yeah. See, every time I stand up, I feel lightheaded. Any water? No. Nope. Didn't like it, that's our berry sauce thing. Well, at least for next time when we holiday here in the year, I don't know, 2025, yeah. they should know where to find some potentially poisonous uh, berries. Yep. You know, hit us up. We've got great shelter here, willing to put it on Airbnb for a yeah. reasonable price. We're chucking free berries. Water that's, as that's, well. That's a great B&B, that. Trust is very scenic. Can you see any more? Anything from that? There's a little tree up the top there. But it, like, I only had like one little branch on it. Oh, any berries on there? Like, like five berries. Oh. By the time you do all your energy to get up there. Like a work for expense, expense yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I think there's something to be said about having uh, food or something inside the stomach there. Find the cut though, isn't The way we're walking around, it feels so different to how we were on the first day. Yeah. It's set of the slow, you don't want to move your body too fast. I think yeah. maybe that, that probably conserves energy a bit nicer actually, thinking about it moving slowly and deliberately, but this, that lack of energy just, I just jumped over this on the first day. Yeah. Maybe I'm just more aware of how slippery it can be.
the bay? Ah, I think so. Okay, so yesterday, and we kind of came down to this stream, we managed to find us some uh, berries. We didn't want to eat them then because we were kind of too busy focusing on water and there was kind of no hurry to do it, but now we've got kind of more of a day uh, open, then uh, we're going to give them a try out. See, they're right there. There's quite a few, which would be quite useful. The main issue is whether they are kind of poisonous or not, whether they're going to be harmful to us to actually eat. Okay, so we're going to do our tests on it. So I'm going to take down, take one down. Okay, first test will be to uh, put it on our skin, see what happens. See so if anything happens, just give it a smell. They're never going to be that poisonous, so really doing a skin test isn't too important. Let me give it a taste. Just on the tongue. So let's sit down on the tongue. If I feel any tingling or numbness, then that will be uh, obviously poisonous, most likely. But let it rest on there, see what happens. any bad effects. There's a seed in there. Of course eat the seed as well. Okay so yeah it didn't feel like there's any kind of tingling sensation. Uh, there's nothing kind of wrong with it. Uh, we're going to give it a bit of time before we eat some more, so there's yep. no need to hurry. Uh, and we'll see uh, if there's any kind of ill effects. If not, we can kind of eat these and uh, kind of uh, have a feast tonight, to be honest. <laughs> but you can leave it there and uh, yeah, see what happens in the meantime. Okay, okay. so yesterday, um, we kind of came down to the stream. We managed to find us some uh, berries. We didn't want to eat them then because we were kind of too busy focusing on water. And there was kind of no hurry to do it, but now we've got kind of more of a day uh, open. Then uh, we're going to give them a try out. See they're right there. There's quite a few, which would be quite useful. The main issue is whether they are kind of poisonous or not, whether they're going to be harmful to us to actually eat. Okay, so we're going to do our tests on it. So I'm going to take down, take one down. Okay, first test will be to a. Uh, Put it on our skin, see what happens. See if anything happens, just give it a smell. They're never going to be that poisonous, so really doing a skin test isn't too important. Let me give it a taste. Just on the tongue. Just sit down on the tongue. If I feel any tingling or numbness, then that will be uh, obviously poisonous, most likely. But let it rest on there, see what happens. Not feeling any bad effects. There's a seed in there. And of course, eat the seed as well. Okay, so yeah, it didn't feel like there's any kind of tingling sensation. Uh, there's nothing kind of wrong with it. Uh, we're going to give it a bit of time before we eat some more, because there's yeah. no need to hurry. Uh, and we'll see uh, if there's any kind of ill effects. If not, we can kind of eat these and uh, kind of uh, have a feast tonight, to be honest. <laughs> but you can leave it there and uh, yeah, see what happens in the meantime. The heel of my foot, um, all that pounding on the stone didn't help. And then yesterday, I stood on a real sharp, sharp rock. Um, it just sent sort of a shudder right the way through my ankle and up my leg which means every time I put pressure I don't know if you can see but you might most probably can't every time I put pressure on the heel of my foot it's caused me a very lot of discomfort and pain um, hopefully it'll get better 
because we 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 have a day of trekking tomorrow. A day of we're pretty much a, a day a long time of trekking, and it's very difficult. And with no shoes, I'm very yeah. much not looking forward to that. The camera's not facing anyone. Yeah, you can hold it down, but uh, yeah. just like make sure the lens faces somewhere. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Duncan, you better manage tomorrow because you've got a long, long um, task ahead. I'm hoping with a bit of rest after we've done this that I'll be all right. Um, but we'll have to see in the morning, to be yeah. fair. We are hydrated, that's good. Yeah. But even so, I'm finding it hard. When I stand up, my mind almost blacks out and I'm stand up and I have to hold a tree just to like yeah. stay sane. It's like... Very camera. difficult, man. Very yeah. difficult. How's the camera looking? Yeah. yeah so yeah, just like a, uh, you're in this jungle, but it's almost like you're not here at the same time. In a sense, that, uh, it's hard to kind of explain, but uh, yeah, you kind of. I'm standing here right now, but my mind is not working at its full amount, so my senses aren't really working completely. So I'm, com I'm not really completely aware. Of what's here, to be honest, and uh, yeah, it feels a bit, maybe it's because it feels so surreal uh, compared to being in England, I guess. But it's definitely a, it's an odd feeling. It doesn't feel like I'm here. It feels like we're in a TV show at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't feel like normal-ish too much. But oh well, you only live once. You get one chance. Uh, yeah. Yep. So we, what we have to do now. It's fixed problems with our shelter. Uh, it's just to make up for the fact that yesterday we need, or twice, it was too small. So, yesterday, um, we've done being out, out of action with one hand. I took it upon myself to sort of try and crack on with our shelter while Dan tried to uh, do the fire. Um, this was as good as I could get it at the time. Um, but it's very cramped, um, and we learnt last night that it wasn't as watertight as we wanted, was it, Dan? Yeah, we got off lucky because it wasn't a heavy rain. It was definitely not a heavy rain last night, uh, so that kind of played in our favour. But we will need to uh, add more leaves to it because the problem with these leaves is that they're not big leaves. In this kind of uh, area around here, you don't often see big leaves that will keep it kind of uh, watertight. With these small leaves, it took us from one leaf onto another and then onto us uh, eventually yeah. uh, but we'd have to kind of do that but uh, we did have the issue of it being too tight yeah. we were kind of squirming around in there and but it was too late to kind of fix anything last night but uh, the advantage there is that it was a bit warmer than normal but at the same time it was extremely uncomfortable to uh, sleep in and it was very scorched. like we'd kind of nudge into each other like I'd wake up from a dream and I'd jolt into James James goes oh you kind of jolted into me I was like what? Because you know I've just woken up from just a slight dream, but uh, yeah, the dreams are there to look forward to every night. Though <laughs> that's literally the only escape out of your dreams. Yeah. And then you realise you kind of get hints in your dreams that something's not right. Uh, it could be dry in the mouth, it could be something like that. You could feel wet, or you could even be camping in your dream. And you realise that you actually are in the jungle, and you wake up uh, from a kind of false reality. Uh, but you know it's what we deal with. But yeah, look, I love the dreams. I love the dreams. But sleeping's hard. You don't get steady sleep. You wake up, go to sleep. You wake up, go to sleep. It's very quick, and it's not a good night's sleep. But that's why we have to do? start going to sleep so early because yeah. we almost start going to sleep as soon as the sun goes down, which is about seven o'clock, and it doesn't yeah. come up until about seven. Yeah. Um, so it's twelve hours almost that we're trying to fill with sleep. Um, exactly that. You're never going to get perfect sleep when you're trying to in, in it for twelve hours because you know once it starts raining you got to be in your shelter and once you're in your shelter you can't really do anything yeah. other than rest and fall to sleep but yeah. you know something we deal with uh, yeah we should get on in uh, fixing it ready for a kind of hiking tomorrow so that's it how small it is on the inside as you can tell not very big but yeah um, we learned a lot and now to make a load of amendments to it but uh, as you can see 
So if you want to come here, you can see each other's bug bites. We were absolutely marauded by ants uh, yesterday, uh, well last night. Uh, all over our whole body is absolutely kind of destroyed. I'm going to show you some here. You get into the light there. One of the main parts is the back. The back has been absolutely destroyed. He's also got a sunburn on the back of his neck. That's one just fell down there. Okay, you can see mine as well. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely bitten up. It's constant bites, but uh, that's something which we have to deal with as we are sleeping on the floor. Obviously a solution to that would be to make a raised shelter, but there's a few issues with that. First off is the temperature. Uh, yeah. We haven't been able to start a fire yet, which means if we had a raised shelter, we're gonna lose more heat because of the uh, drafts coming from underneath. Uh, and we don't have a fire, so that's gonna be an issue. And being cold at night is terrible. And also the fact that we are moving from this uh, site tomorrow. So kind of putting all that energy into making a raised shelter, which could take a whole day, or maybe even two days, uh, dependent, that would, you know, would be too much for us to do. And if we are, if this is only a temperature shelter, then we have to kind of, you know, mend and make do and see what, you know, see what happens. But uh, yeah, it's probably, it's not really feasible to do a raised shelter right now. We don't have uh, the time, the energy to do it. We have to kind of accept the uh, bites, unfortunately. Also the resources around us, aren't good enough either we don't have enough vine um, these are the kind of uh, trees that we're using yeah. which actually tend to snap very easily yeah. once you've cut them once um, and and the leaf situation where the leaves aren't big enough yeah like we can bet look at look at the amount of leaves we have here and that doesn't keep us dry uh, doing that with a like a very shelter it's going to be an even bigger issue but yeah we should probably crack on and start uh, making our shelter more waterproof. Gordon? Yeah. See, every time I stand up, I feel lightheaded. Do you think that's just down to the lack of food there, Daniel? Ah, uh, so yes, that's the lack of food and the not always, not a great amount of water. Just the blood. Down to your head. What's the lack of blood pumping into the head? Just the general exhaustion. Can you see any more left? No. I think that's it, that's our berry sauce gone. Well, at least for next time when we holiday here in the year, I don't know, 2025, yeah. at least we know where to find some potentially poisonous uh, berries. Yep. You know, hit us up. We've got great shelter here, willing to put it on Airbnb for yeah. a reasonable price. We're chucking free berries. Good you know, water that's, as that's, well. That's a great BB, that. Plus, it's very scenic. Can you see any more? There's a little tree up the top there. But it like only had like one little branch on it. Oh, any berries on there? Like about five berries. Oh. So by the time you exhaust all your energy to get up there. It's like a worth the calorie expense expense, no. isn't it? No. Is it? I think there's something to be said about having uh, food or something inside your stomach there. Yeah, man. Pump it in. 
Time to cut though, isn't it? <laughs> Just the way we're walking around just feels so different to how we were on the first day. Yeah. The set is a slow, you don't want to move your body too fast. I think yeah. maybe that but probably conserves energy a bit nicer actually, thinking about it moving slowly and deliberately. But this, that lack of energy just, I would have just jumped over this on the first day. Yeah. Everyone's more aware of how slippery it can be. Be careful with your hand as well, man. Yeah, with the berries? Ah, I think so. Where are they? Yeah, there we go. Put that all of them. I don't know how that went on, looked a bit. No, it looks a bit white. Time to get in your belly! Yeah. It's a lot of food, isn't it? That is a lot of food. Mate, this... That is a lot. Apparently that can make a full ribena, of that. Oh, dropped a co oh. Would you give that meal a Michelin star then, Dan? No? I'm getting a refund on that meal. You're getting a refund? I'm, getting, I'm going straight to the manager. Oh, mate. The manager's not in. She's going all the way to the top, to the White House. Oh, I'm mate. getting back a bar, mate, involved. Oh, mate. I'm bringing in all the guns. That's bad, man. That, that's a bad meal. Surely it can't be that bad. You've gone back for seconds, thirds, fourths. I went yeah. with uh, twice. My decision to eat those, I went with, with my gut. But my gut was hungry. So. Cheers. Nah, how am I going to be trusted? You know, food's bad when you've got to wash it down with uh, dirty water. Yeah. Okay, so uh, just a bit earlier today, not long ago, we found ourselves a worm and found uh, a beetle as well. Something worth eating. Are you interested in a beetle at all? Yeah. It's only one person bite, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I'll chuck the beetle in again. Do you want to do it? Do you want a worm with a beetle? I don't mind. Which one do you want? James, what? Oh, it's the camera can see you. How's it taste? What, mate? Country. Nice, nice. It's the worms for me.
Luca. One up a two. How does that taste? Very gritty. Very gritty. But uh, probably went in beetle. Hey, so it's all about the beetle juice, though, mate. All about the beetle juice. Let's move on and uh, get some water. Ah, it's got to swallow it sometimes, I think that's probably the best move. Okay, let's get going. I'll leave my one on. This water is a bit dirty, you can see it's a lot more brown than we'd want it to be. It's going to make... She's gonna make her way down to the water hole or the water stream. Uh, fill up water, kind of drink as much as we can because we've got a quite a hard day of trekking going on tomorrow. And it's gonna take it all out of us. I'm hitting my GoPro everywhere. I'm not really used to having it on my head. Yeah. Yeah, is that the fastest way? Yeah. Yeah, let's go that way then. kind of tell our energy levels are very low. We're kind of moving quite slowly and uh, yeah, it's low energy levels at the moment.
for the black pillar. Micro mics microphone foam windshield. Right. So what I'm gonna do is pour get a load of water into this um down in this can. Yeah. And then what I'm gonna do is to filter it. Filter okay. it through one of our microphone I don't know what it like that, so it can at least take away some of the dirt, some of the bacteria. It's most probably not the best thing to do, but we, we were doing it yesterday. It tasted all right, didn't it, Dan? Yeah. The only thing is it takes a very, very long time. I think we better to collect it from there Pardon? before it gets into this rocky pool when it gets a bit cloudy. We better to collect it from there, a bit more clean, I guess, like maybe a bit more. Oh, there. Yeah, from there. Looks <coughs> <coughs> look pretty similar to be fair. Be so, obviously, any kind of rock pool that wall could be a bit older, to be honest. I spent quite a bit of time uh, drinking some of this uh, stream water and I'm hoping it's going to leave my urine as pale. Let's see. Uh, still yellowish, but it's a lot better than it was the other day. So now I'll just drink some more water. Okay, another attempt at another uh, urination period. Let's see. That's clear. That is clear urine. That is very clear urine. That is great news. That is great news. Huh. I made it. I made it. Cheers! Join the club now. I made it! <laughs> Clear urine out in the jungle. What a dream, what a dream. Just recording James urinating or trying to urinate. There you go. A nice clear stream, nice and healthy. So many bugs. There's so many bugs everywhere. Mm, mm, mm. Not good, not good, not good. One's even bit in my ball bag. Mm. Which is never a good sign. Yeah. Okay, so just a bit earlier today, not long ago, we found ourselves a worm and found uh, a beetle as well. Something worth eating. Are you interested in a beetle at all? Yeah. It's only one person bite, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, right. Do you want to chuck the beetle here then? Do you want to do it? Do you want to worm with a beetle? I don't mind. Just give me... Which one do you want? I'll take, I'll take the beetle. Cool. How's it taste? Oh, mate. Country. Nice, nice. That's the one for me. There we go. One up a tea. How does that taste? Very gritty. Very gritty. But. Probably went in beetle.
Okay, so. It's all about the beetle juice though, mate. All about the beetle juice. Let's move on and uh, get some water. Yeah. Ah, it's got to swallow it sometimes. I think that's probably the best move. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so the super glue's dried. We should seal it from any foreign elements for now. Gonna get some kind of bandage on there of some sort uh, and just try to keep it out of use. I need to kind of get a sterile pad on there. Got one partially open because I didn't want to use too much in the past. Just put that on. Surgical tape. Massively running out of bandages. Hopefully, no one else needs them. Yeah. They can last a bit longer. Go, Bob's your uncle. Done. I just gotta keep that clean and dry from now on. <laughs> no more, no more kind of a, uh, I don't know, no more kind of a. Uh, rain? Uh, no more rain, though, it's gonna be rain, but. I don't know, we better start, uh, yep. put this off our shirt. Uh. Yeah? Yep. So you know, it's gonna cover it in duct tape, wouldn't normally do this, but uh, it's the only way to keep. A bit more waterproof than otherwise. There we go. That should help keep it a bit more protected. Sweet, let's go finish the shot. So I've just um, brought myself away, away from, away from the camp. Um, I kind of want to make a sort of video diary along with this journey. So this is going to be my first, first sort of um, video for this. Um, we're now very deep into the jungle, um, and you know it's, it's, it's been a definite struggle along the way, um, both physically and mentally. Physically, um, day one was a lot easier than yesterday, I found, just because we, we had the clothes. Um, my feet took a battering yesterday on the stone. Um, I don't really like 
things touching the soles of my feet um, so I found that pretty much torture um, but there has has been some positives um, from coming this deep obviously we found found the water which you know is really useful um, seems very drinkable um, we are filtering it the only thing is we can't seem to get a fire going to um, filter it that little bit more and to make it purer but um, it's, it's not upset us yet and it's not given us like any sort of upset stomach or anything like that so we are just carrying on drinking it um, but in term, terms of physically yesterday building that shelter it took a lot out of me a lot of energy so I've woken up today pre pretty pretty exhausted and quite glad that we're not sort of trekking today because um, we are thinking of trekking tomorrow to, to go find this river because the one thing we haven't found around here is any food source um, which is which is a major issue you know we've got bugs but nothing bigger than that and we need to find food because eventually we will start start to starve you know um, but in terms of like last night uh, you know the sleep the sleeps here you know are not very comfortable um, they're long old nights so it starts at about seven o'clock when it starts to rain then it gets pretty dark pretty qu uh, quickly after that and then you're sort of just stuck in the shelter and it was very cramped in that shelter last night um, we were in there for about 12 hours don't know how many hours of that we actually slept um, you know it's very cozy the good thing about that is that we were warmer last night than the night before um, but yeah today is more about just you know trying to stock up on water um, re-energize a little bit for tomorrow we're going to try and trek quite early when when the first light breaks and then try and find that river and then potentially we might move that shelter down to there um, and rebuild shelter there so knowing that if, if we've got a food source and a fresh water then we can potentially get that it's a shame that we couldn't get the fire going yesterday because I think that would have boost morale a little bit but in terms of now it's just about you know keeping a positive mental attitude and you know you know plowing on which is what we plan to do so yeah it's yeah. very cold very cold um, not much protection from the rain to be fair fair bit to be honest I'm, I'm, not I'm, not much. I'm, I'm not getting off I'm getting, fuck all I'm getting wet on me I'm getting completely wet, soaked here. Um, then seems to be a bit drier. Um, James, you got to focus the, for the camera so yeah, face someone. So go, keep going. It might be because we focus more on his side when redoing the shower, which, which means that my side getting a bit wetter. Um, but hey ho, luck goes on. Mm. Plus the rain only sticks around for about one to two hours yeah so hopefully this will subside soon and then we can crack on and go to sleep but for now we just have to grow and bear it it's handy just because uh the rain kind of puts the mosquitoes away and the bugs away uh for a bit so it's pretty uh i don't think it's too it's not too bad uh all swings and roundabouts we've uh, sealed up the door slightly i say sealed up 50 percent, maybe 20 percent, even that but it's better than nothing, and it's keeping. I feel like the heat stay inside here, rather than escaping. Uh, so that should uh, bode well for tonight, once it stops raining. Yep. Sweet. 